Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do a full face of well, new makeup. New makeup to me, new makeup to the industry. We're just gonna try out some new things and see how they are on my face and on my eyes. I'm gonna let you know my thoughts about them. We're also gonna be talking about something that I have in the past referred to as the YouTube paradox. So we're gonna chat a bit about that while I try some new makeup. I have it here in front of me and I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. We are gonna do something colorful because if you haven't been here before, Hello, my name is Angie. I'm a lover of fashion and makeup, especially colorful things. And I love playing with makeup. I just love trying new things. I love talking about makeup. I love using makeup, reviewing it, ranking it, all of those things. So if you just want to see someone that still is very much in love with makeup, don't forget to subscribe because I upload five videos a week. I am just so excited. I'm so excited to be playing with these new things. I do have... It's still in the sleeve. I do have one of these new six pan palettes by Lethal here. So I thought, that's why I'm wearing a yellow dress. I thought, I even have a yellow scrunchie. Can you see the scrunchie? <laughs> I thought we'd do something yellow today. I'm feeling like yellow is the way to go. We are gonna start with foundation though, because I love starting with my base. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit and maybe I can just, is that okay? Is this okay? Let me scooch down a bit. <laughs> is this okay? I'm actually going to be using the Pretty Fresh. This isn't, this is a first impression um, because I bought this foundation in a new shade. So this is really a second impression. I did try this just to see if this was my shade. I did buy this some months back, but the shade I got was all wrong. And I'm honestly usually not that horrible at shade matching myself online, but the shade was just too light and too peachy. So this one is medium 80 w so it is a medium shade with a warm undertone and this is a lot better i got this in the totally wrong shade and if you get a foundation that's absolutely not your shade it's actually really really hard to do a review on it because whatever you do it's still not going to mesh with your skin it's not going to look good on your skin because it is just not your skin color it's going to look like you're wearing a mask also do you love my new nails i got a bright blue even even the person that's doing my nails was like, that's a nice color. And I, I, I am so in love with the bright blue. Let me see if I can pull up the mirror a little bit. Hmm. This is supposed to be a medium uh, foundation with a natural finish. And I do like how this looks now, now that I have the right shade. Let me have like half a pump more. Um, maybe just like that and I'm just gonna have this over here because that's usually where I have not like imperfections but like discolorations and stuff like that but yeah I really like that that's really really nice I will link everything down in the description box if you're wondering about something or if you think I'm not mentioning something enough I will put it in the description box so that you can see because I, I always have all the info in the description because I'm gonna be using this concealer. This is not a first impression, but this is the newest concealer I have and I am in the middle of reviewing this one. I did do a first impression with this concealer that was up last week. I do a lot of videos on my channel where I try out makeup and I will say, and this is what I wanted to talk about, when I have been on YouTube, not only has my content changed a lot, what's also changed is me as a person. This August, I will have been an active YouTube like uploader, content creator <laughs> for six years. Six years of my life, I will have done this. That means that when I started doing this, I was 31. I was working at a job uh, that was had a lot of commuting to it. And I had to actually have two like apartments, one where I lived with my ex-husband. Yes, during this time on YouTube, not only have I gotten married, I've also gotten divorced to my ex-husband, which was pretty early on, of course, in my YouTube journey, but still. And so many things have happened. I used to have two apartments, so that I lived in one apartment uh, with my, like, and worked during the weeks, and then I went home over the weekends, um, and then that's where I did like YouTube and then I changed jobs and I worked at the job that I worked at recently where I still had commuting but I could at least go home 
that's really brightening maybe too much concealer i need to remember to use less of this i at least got to go home every day but it was like a lot of commuting and so many things have happened during this time that i've been on youtube i have changed friends i have changed jobs and then i even changed career i've changed husband <laughs> I had to go through the death of my father, two, two grandmothers, the, the pandemic, moving, so many things have happened through this time that I've been here on YouTube and it's so hard sometimes when people say you changed because listen, thank the makeup gods I have. I don't want to be the person that I used to be. There are so many things about me today that are so much better than what they used to be. And sometimes I think people forget that YouTubers, we're not living in a vacuum. Like, I'm not living in a vacuum here on YouTube. I am a human being and things happen outside of YouTube all the time that changes me me as a person, interactions, stuff that happens to us, catastrophes and, and pandemics and all of these things, they change who we are. The gaining and the loss of friends and family and boyfriends and husbands, all of that changes us. Because I think a lot of times what people focus on when they talk about YouTubers changing is their economic status. Like, oh, you're making money now, so you changed. I wouldn't say that my economic status has changed that much at all during the time that I've been on YouTube. Although I realize that for a lot of YouTubers, of course, that are doing a lot better than I am, they're probably making a lot more money. But I don't think that money, per se, is the reason why we change the most. It's the experiences we have, the people we meet, the people we that we gain the experiences we have, the people we lose. And sometimes when I see this, you changed, it makes me so confused because it's like, haven't you? I hope you have. I hope you haven't stayed stagnant in your personal growth the past like five, 10 years. I hope you evolved into an even better person because that's what we're all trying to do. We're just trying to take, take ourselves to the next level, be an even better version of what we are. Not all of us succeed. We all have setbacks and some people involve into something that's maybe a lesser version of what it used to be, but I have to believe that people try at least. Did some brows and some eye primer, and I haven't done any bronzer because I want to use this one. I finally got my hands on this one. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Bronzer. Yes, I know, the, the name is cringy AF. And also, can we talk about how small this is? I thought this is marketed to be as to be used as a bronzer blush duo, but this is so small. I, why why couldn't I get this? Because it's not affordable. Listen, this is not affordable. Why could I not get this in, in, in a bronzer size then? If, if you're saying that this is a, a bronzer blush duo. I'm going to do some blush draping with this. And... I mean, it's cute. It's really cute. Is it a, is it a, a blush bronzer duo? I don't know about that, but I love the consistency of it. It's very, it's a, the right amount of at least to me pigmented. Cause I hate when blushes are too pigmented. I really do. Am I gonna be the person that has blush on my nose? Are you gonna hate me if I do that? I, I do feel like I look like a cartoon when I do that. I don't know if I love it. Maybe I'll finish this up with some freckles. I mean, I like how it looks. Do I love it? I don't know. Next time I'll use it together with a bronzer, just as a blush. Because like, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm also gonna be, this I bought myself. I bought this myself as well. I think I bought everything so far. Why am I saying that? I bought everything so far myself. There. I bought everything so far myself and I did buy this because Lethal Cosmetics released some new highlighters and I decided to get some of the new highlighters in this custom palette like 
you can build your own palette on their website. So I decided to build a trio where I had three of the new highlighters and I think I want to use... I want to try this orangey one as a... Let's, listen, I need to try this as a blush. Like, it needs to happen. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know the names down in the description box because you can pop them out, but I don't want to do that now. Oh, I have a cat hair. Ooh, that's... I really like their highlighter formula, so that is the reason why I decided to buy another one. Let's just put it like that. Wow, that is so pretty. Wow, I love that. Okay, okay. Let's talk about the paradox part. The paradox is that a lot of YouTubers will get a lot of flack for changing, but everyone changes. I mean, if you make like a 180, especially a lot of YouTubers that are young, they start YouTube when they're 15, and then when they're 18, people are like, you changed. I'm like, I'm happy they changed. Like, didn't you change between like 15 and 18? I hope you did. Like, so many things happen. So a lot of YouTubers do get a lot of flack for like changing, which I think is a good thing. You should change. You should change as a person. And I'm sure that you as a viewer do, does as well, but you might not notice it as much because it's not like on tape. <laughs> it's no video evidence. I'm going to use this beige one. Or do I want to use the yellow? No, I really want to use this beige one because I saw um, some swatches of this and I thought it looked so cool. Yeah, that's a beautiful neutral highlighter. But there's also the paradox is that if you don't, as a YouTuber, if you don't, if, if you as a person stay the same, if your content stays the same, if you're l just literally the same person, year in and year out, which seems to be what people would want them because there are people that are complaining when YouTubers are changing. So if you are the same person year in and year out, then you're stagnant. Nothing changes here. You're not evolving. Like, why, is you, why are you as a person and your content so stagnant? And I do get comments sometimes with people that are missing some of the content that I used to do. Which I get, because uh, my content has changed over the years and it's not necessarily... Um, it's not necessarily that I just don't want to do certain things. It is like the viewers have changed. Like the viewers have changed and they no longer want to see exactly the same things as they used to see. So I've changed my content to fit what the audience uh, mostly is looking for nowadays. And some things I just grew tired of. Like some things I genuinely grew tired of. And I think that, that that just happens. I'm also a person that thrive on change. Like I love, I love change. I just, I don't know. There's something about change that just makes me so happy. I bought two new lip liners, same here. These I bought myself. One is from Kiko Milano. Because uh, I wanted to try some new lip products from Kiko Milano and one is from Jaclyn Cosmetics One is like a reddish brown and the Jaclyn Cosmetics one is a Butter pecan and it's like more of a brown. So I think we're gonna use it. I haven't used this yet And see this one is more of a reddish brown, which is pretty but it's not necessarily what I want to have with my yellow look So I think we're saving this Kiko one uh, but I'm gonna use a Kiko lip lipstick because I, I just bought some Kiko uh, lip products because I wanted to try a couple more of their lip products and they had a sale so I decided to buy some lip products. So I also have three new formulas here. I have a Hydra Shiny Lip Stylo, Glossy Dream Sheer Lipstick and a Yelly, Yelly Stylo. Three different lip uh, formulas. We'll, we'll look at them in just a second. I just want to put this. Did I say the color? Honey Pecan. Butter Pecan. My bad. Oh, let me put this on. Hmm, I kind of like this formula. I like lip liners that are creamy but not too creamy because I hate when they're so creamy that they're hard to work with. Like I want something that's the perfect in between um, so they're easy to be precise with. I did try the liquid lipstick formula from Jaclyn Cosmetics and I am... Mm, I'm not really impressed. It's not my favorite formula. Yeah, I, I I like this so far. If this stays put on the lips and if it doesn't bleed, I think I'd get on board with this one because it was very easy to put on. It was creamy, but not too creamy. So it was easy to like manipulate. And I like the color. This is like a slightly peachy uh, beige. I like it. Let's open these and we can have a look at them. Okay, so these are the different Kiko formulas. This is the Yelly Stylo in number 510. It is like a, this is a 
glossy and sheer formula if I'm not mistaken. So this is like a cool tone brown. I think this is going to be pretty sheer. And then we have, this is like a pill. This packaging is like a pill. And then we have this one that is the Glossy Dreamy 217. This is one of those that you, you push the button here. Like you see that? Like you push it and then it goes um, out. Oh, and it's, it's one of these. Also cool tone brown. Apparently cool tone browns is what I'm, what I'm doing. I think this is more like a satin lipstick, if I'm not totally mistaken. Uh, and then we have this last one that is the Hydra Shiny Lips. I think I've tried the lip stylus before, but in a different packaging. And this one is in number 15. <laughs> well, this is like a peachy brown. It smells a bit vanilla. Let's do this one. Because it matches the lip uh, liner. Actually, this one is. This one is like a satin lipstick. So maybe this is not at all the, the formula that I've tried before. Yeah, that is like a satin lipstick. Very pretty though. I like this a lot. You hear that has like a click closure. I will link it down below in case you're interested. I like it. Nice, comfortable, opaque. Okay, okay, so this one I did get in PR, but let me just let me put some of these things away so that we can, we can use these a bit easier. I wanted to try this new formula from Colourpop, but can you see how this one looks? Do you see this? It's all separated and like gooey ooey. I don't know how I feel about that really. Like... I don't know how I feel about that, so I'm putting that in the... I'm putting that in the maybe pile. I want to try something... Oh, I shouldn't have done eye primer because I wanted to try something else. I want to use... This is also PR. I got... They asked me what I wanted to try in PR and I said I wanted to try one of their gel liners because I have tried their gel liners before and I really love them, but I want to try it as an eyeshadow base. So maybe I should try and just take some of this away just a little bit. Because I'm wearing a little bit of eye primer. I'm just taking so I don't have excess. Because I want to try and use this as a, 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 a like a colored primer. Because I already know that I love those. And I already know that I love the shadows by Lethal. This is... Oh, I don't remember. This is a pre-made six-pan palette. I will link it down below and I'll let you know the name of it. Because I don't now exactly remember what it was called. But I want to use... What kind of a brush do I want to have? Let me use something like this, actually. This is a natural bristle brush. This is number one by Refer. I like these for blending and it is a little bit um, stiff. So I think that this could be cool for just... I'm putting some... I should... Should I be more prepared? Wait, let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so I zoomed in a lot. <laughs> I zoomed in a lot and I want to see if I can use this as a bit of a base and just pack eyeshadow on and have a really impactful yellow look because I feel like that is what I'm I'm looking to do. Okay, I haven't really like tried to blend this to perfection. But I think that this will be good enough. We'll see, won't we? We will see. So I'm going to use a different brush. I'm just going to... This is too big. That's what she said. I want to have something slightly smaller. Maybe something like this. This seems like a good brush. This is a BK Beauty 206. And I want to use the... The yellow shade. This one. And I am going to see if I can just, just really pack this on. That's really pretty. I'm literally just packing it on. And I'm going to see if I can blend this edge a bit. So far, it's working out exactly as planned. It's bright, it's yellow, I'm happy. What's not to love? While I'm doing this, I'll put in some swatches of this six pan palette so that you can see the different shades 
uh, if you were interested in this Lethal release. You know from before that Lethal Cosmetics is a brand that I truly support and love and they are based out of Germany. I mean, they did send this to me as PR, but I'm not obligated in any way to talk about it. I also do have a code with Lethal Cosmetics and the code is not affiliated, meaning that if you use the code, I do not earn any money <laughs> from you using it. It's just something for you to get a bit of a discount. So I will leave that as well down below in case you uh, were interested. I probably should have done one eye at a time because I am noticing that this one dried down a bit more before I was able to set it with eyeshadow. So I think that this eye is gonna look a bit brighter. <laughs> I'm gonna use this with an eyeliner brush and I am gonna do a little bit under my eyes as well. And I think... I think I might use that uh, mustard shade instead. Because I wanted to have a bit of a darker uh, lower lash line. I'm just trying out to see how this one works as a primer because I feel like sometimes when you are a makeup reviewer it's important to try out a product in several different ways so that you can make like an informed decision on like how you actually can use like this this product so I am gonna use you can see there's a little bit of the kick up in the in the yellow so I'm gonna use this like mustardy brown and I'm gonna put that on top I'm also gonna put this yellow in my waterline. You can use these in your waterline because they are um, waterproof. So they actually last really good in your waterline. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. I think I'm gonna use some of this brown just a little bit here as well and see if we can just pull that up. I really wanted something that was just fun and bright and yellow so I don't want to take this in too much but I also feel like if I just shade it in a little bit I think that it could or maybe not maybe it's just blending into the rest I just was like kind of hoping I could have a little bit of a moment out here just something, yeah, just, it's it's ever so little, but just a little something to make it slightly darker out here. But overall, I just want to have a bright and fun and yellow. Is this super unique? Probably not, but maybe this will show you that just adding one bright color all over your lid and your crease could, like, just brighten your mood a bit. Like it brightened my mood today, because... I love having yellow eyeshadow. Part of me really wants to use this one. I think it is like a green... Oh, it is even like a blue-green duochrome. That is beautiful. It is a stunning iridescent blue-green moment. Yeah, that is so pretty. I hope you can see here how pretty it is. But it, it's not really what I'm going for. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. But I want to keep it yellow. So I think I'm actually going to reach into this yellow highlighter here just with a pencil brush, just in my inner corners and please don't put it on all over your cheek I don't know what's wrong with me nothing like super bright, I just wanted to have a little yellow here as well and then it's a little shimmer that catches the light I mean, the look in itself is pretty dramatic, I'm still having allergies. I actually think I have uh, allergies towards grass as well. You know what? Let me put some falsies on because I love a good pair of falsies and then we can just finish this all up. Um, yeah, I guess I just wanted to rant a bit about change and why it's good and why we all change. I did put on the Moonbeams lashes by uh, Rocket Lashes. Really enjoy how these look. I will say they're a little fragile, which makes me a little sad, but they're absolutely beautiful, especially when you have a look like this. This look makes me happy. I am happy by having bright colors on. It's making me feel a little bit more energetic, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. I will say I am pretty, pretty happy with the look altogether. I like how it all came together. I like I like how it looks. I hope you enjoyed this too. And I just want to finish up by saying that it is important 
as both a viewer, a creator and a human being to recognize that people change. Some people change in a way that we think is appropriate and some people don't. Some people change into what they think is a better human being and you might not agree but it's not really like up for us to decide how other people should live their lives. What we can do if we don't like it is that we can back away. I am definitely not the same person that I was five years ago or ten years ago or God forbid 20 years ago. I am such a more confident and like stronger and more mature person which I think could come off a bit cocky sometimes and I don't even mind that because I am a grown ass woman and I know what I want and I know what I like and I personally thrive in change and I know some people don't and that's perfectly fine as well sometimes people come and go in our lives some people stay for a chapter some people stay for the entire book and that's also perfectly fine like I have a couple of people that used to be my ride or die people like the people I had closest to me in my life but then we grew apart and that's okay too I'm sure that they are thriving in the life that they're having right now that I am not a part of and I'm also thriving in the life that I have right now that they are not a part of and if you find a content creator that is evolving or changing in a way that you don't feel like you can connect with anymore it is okay to let that person go and just find someone else that you feel more connected with and the opposite of way as well if you are evolving and changing into a person and the, the content creator or the friend in your life that you have isn't coming with you on that journey and you feel like they are being stagnant and you feel like they're dragging you down it's okay to leave that person behind. I've left people behind that I felt didn't evolve with me um, because I felt like I wanted more or I wanted other things. It's perfectly fine, but it's important though to remember that I need to be the one to let go. I can't force other people to change in my direction or I can't force other people to stay or remain stagnant for me. Like I have to be the active role in that. Doggo is away. Time to go out with him. But let me know what you think down in the comments. You always have the best comments. I try and read all my comments. I do miss a couple sometimes and I'm sorry about that. I'm not able to answer all my comments though because I do get several hundred comments a day. So it, it's a lot sometimes. But try to read as much of it as possible. You have such good insight and sometimes you let me know things in the comments that I had no idea about or giving me new perspectives that I hadn't thought of. So I really appreciate that. It, it does not go unnoticed the way that you are smart, kind and supportive in the comments. I very often actually read your comments out loud to my husband, just letting him know how like but the smart audience and what smart people I have here so don't think that I don't notice the smart and cute things that you're writing in the comments don't forget to subscribe though because I will be here tomorrow again and I will see you in that video bye